All right. So today's uh, goal is basically do some mundane tasks. Like I'm going to be filling this in. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get more villagers <laughs> as the title uh, says multiplying villagers. And then maybe try to work on the bamboo farm if we have time. But I am running low on iron, so maybe attempt a an iron farm if you guys want to suggest a, uh, a tutorial or a farm or however. But yeah, I'm definitely looking into that, getting an iron farm. Whether it be trades or... Uh, or having like an iron golem. Something like that. Anyways, I hope your guys' days are going well. Hope you guys are ready for the weekend. I sure am. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it like that. Zen, you're, I'm done with uh, my diamond beacon. Nice! That is awesome. Yeah, after over 1,200 diamond, <laughs> that's a good amount. I would think that's enough for a diamond beacon. But again, I'm not too sure. That's pretty cool, though. these in really quick all right oh yeah man that looks so nice Definitely, I'm going to be using that. I'm I'm debating if I should build, like, around it or on top of it. Or I just chop it off right there and then build, like, a statue. But a statue of what? I'm not too sure. But we'll see when that day comes. <laughs> see, it's, four, it's uh, almost 1,500 diamonds for a diamond beacon. You have over 1,500. Holy cow, that is awesome. Uh, how are your guys' day going so far? I'm curious to know. I hope it's going well today. That is good to hear. What is up, Mikado? Nice because it's Friday. <laughs> Always. Man, every day should be Friday. <laughs> but that means... <laughs> that means... I don't even know. Never mind. <laughs> To be honest. Cool. Uh, look at these lights. They are freaking awesome. Nice. Okay, so now let me 
go ahead and go to sleep. Check on the villagers. And then after the villagers... Uh, we'll see. Put this away. Holy cow, I still have a lot of dirt. Which is good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let me do that. What's up, kitty? Uh, I think that was a panda. What is up, muffin? You should build a big 15 by 15 by 15 block of emerald blocks. I should. Uh, that's going to take a while. <laughs> that's a pretty big project. Sounds interesting. Maybe once I'm, uh, you know, a pro at this game. <laughs> I'm a veteran, but I wouldn't consider myself a pro yet. But, uh, yeah, that is an interesting idea. If you won't, I may do that. <laughs> I mean, go ahead. You can if you'd like. That is a pretty impressive uh, goal to go for. All right, get those three. Oh yeah, when the cactus block breaks it, like, has weird water physics. Cool. What if you fight the wither and set up a beacon? <laughs> I could, I thought about that. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I don't really feel that uh, rich in Minecraft right now because I don't have a lot of resources, which I'm trying to. As you can tell, I'm trying to get an automatic food farm so I don't have to keep harvesting that. Uh, so slowly but surely, I'm getting there. <laughs> so I might be a little bit slower than <laughs> the, the typical pro, but uh, I'm getting there. And I think that's all that matters. Progress any type of progression is good. Oh. Uh, and yeah, there's one over there. Oh, wrong door. Oh, I interrupted them. It's basically thirty thousand. Thirty and a half thousand emeralds. Which should take one hour from a raid farm. Well, that's cool. Uh, this is gonna be tricky. Are oh, you looking at me? Oh my gosh, they're both looking at me. Oh! Bro's wildin'. One day, one day I'll get a I'll get a raid farm. Bro got some free candy. All right. So we're going to go ahead and keep pumping out these these uh villagers. I guess. I did see some designs of an iron farm that required three villagers, I think. So I already have four. Yeah.
<laughs> okay. Um, let me see. No, not this guy. This one. Um. We'll see. Yeah, I need to make an iron farm. I might need a YouTube it. We'll see. Alright, so let me go ahead and start working on the design of the Let me let me go see how my other one was made really quick. So let's go ahead and take a flashback to my old world. Check out the the bamboo farm real quick. Wow. Okay. So, oh, so the hopper has to be side. Oh, well, the drop off has to be sideways because I think it has to be against a solid block. Yeah, this one I think. Okay, so that's the drop off. I can always have it turn. And then basically it's going under all of the the bamboo. And mine would be short because it's only two sections. This one's like four or six. This one's six sections. And mine's only gonna have two. Okay, let's uh let's go get it. Here's my old cactus farm, basically the same design. Only difference is that this is a 10 by 10 and the cactus farm that I have in my new world is a nine by nine. And this is basically what I'm trying to recreate. As you can tell, they're auto harvesting. Oh my gosh, all that beetroot. Nothing up there, but yeah. Let me see. Yeah, there's. Is there? There is railing. So there's railing. Okay. So there's railing, hopper minecarts, railing, trapdoors. And there's just a villager that's basically stuck. Okay, cool. I think I got to figure it out. Walking up to lava and pressing Q while holding your sword, you get infinite iron. Oh yeah, totally. Okay, so. Let's see. Might have to push this out one more. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Wow. Totally forgot about that. There we go. Hoppers. And then... Cobblestone. Might do one more on the bottom, but we'll see. So I need that there to stop the hopper minecart. It's gonna go up. Gonna do like a 90. And then I need it to go back up. Or actually... 
I'm curious to find out to see if it works if I go up. Maybe I'll just do that. So like so, have it go up and then all this is going to be glass. So glass and then bamboo. So basically this whole row is going to be bamboo. So we're going to need the mine cart to go. Let me see. Yeah, this is three high. We're going to need the mine cart to go on that section of the of this uh, house, I guess. And then same thing on this side. That's going to be glass. There's going to be bamboo right here. All the way up to here, basically. And then expand this out over here. You can tear that down. We can uh, keep it going. Okay. So basically it'll be like that. Oh my gosh, I can't jump up there. Okay, so um It's gonna have to it's gonna have to do a 90. So like that. Okay, so it's gonna go this way. Oh one more. Yeah, I'll do it like that. So basically, it's going to go this way, up and around, and then it's going to make a U. Finish going this way. And then like that. So this is basically going to be underneath the bamboo farm. And then on top of all this, uh, we're going to need the actual bamboo farm. So, uh, let me go ahead and grab some dirt. I don't know why I put my dirt away. Let me go ahead and check on the villagers really quick. What game day am I on? I'm on day 158. It should say on the right side below my map. It has my coordinates, the uh, biome, block light, day, and time. No extra villager. Oh well. Oh gosh. There we go. Alright, let me go ahead and grab some dirt. I'm gonna do some block placing for the bamboo. Railing. I don't think I have any railings. I might have to go look for a mine shaft. So we'll see. Let me go ahead and swap that out. Oh my god, you can hear it echoing. It's like echoing between like the mountains. So it is a little, it's a little dark over here. Let me see. Uh, no block light zero, which is good. So that means nothing can spawn. Probably, over, yeah, probably over here. Uh, I should probably light up this mountain a little bit. 
Right there. Right there. And one more. We'll put it over here. Oh my gosh, my scroller is acting up. Okay, cool. So that's where... Here, let me go ahead and redo that. That's where the bamboo's gonna be. Cool. And then same thing over here. I'm curious to know, what are your guys' in-game day in your own personal world? If you play, of course. If you don't play and just watch, that is totally fine too. Sometimes I do that with other games too. <laughs> okay, so let me open up some windows. only on day you're only on day 118 and you have a diamond beacon that's crazy Ooh. that's good though that's pretty good it sounds like you're pretty competitive might be useful in some uh maybe like pvp situations pretty cool I shouldn't need any more dirt. I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and put it away for now. Let me go ahead and... Uh, kelp. I need kelp. Oh my gosh. Is that water at the bottom? I think so. I'm not willing to jump down there, though. <laughs> that would be insane. Okay. So now... Go ahead and go to sleep. So if you're going to build that 15 by 15 by 15 emerald block, uh, mathematically one hour Minecraft day is about 10 days. If you, if you do sleep, it's 10 minutes a day. If you don't sleep, it's 20 minutes a day. So roughly you'll get an additional three to six days to your in-game day. Fun fact. I just did that in my head right now. <laughs> okay. Let me go ahead and put all this bamboo away. Go, I'll go ahead and check out the... The villagers right now. She's, she's hiding the little one. <laughs> They're learning. Alexander. Ooh, that is a cool name. Let's see. There we go. Uh, 
I'll go ahead and split this between you two. The reason why your day count is so low is because I never sleep and I keep the game paused when I don't feel productive. Like I never just run around not doing anything. Gotcha. Well, that's a uh, pretty efficient. That's a good way to uh, think about it. All right, let me go ahead and collect all this stuff. So basically, it sounds like you only play Minecraft if you know what you're going to do. <laughs> and if you don't know what you're going to do, you don't play. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Because if you don't know what to do, you're basically not being productive. But if you have a goal in mind, then that's when you be productive. That's a, that's a pretty good mindset. You know, it's not for everyone, but regardless, it is a mindset. And uh, I think it's a pretty cool one. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, this music is really, uh, like adventure-y. Nice. Collected everything. Uh, I think I store all my carrots over there. See, mostly, yeah, when I play on servers, I have a way higher playtime compared to my gear. Gotcha. I don't know why I tried organizing just the chest full of seeds. It's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna change. Okay, uh, checking the villagers. Right now, I'm thinking about looking up a YouTube video and I could look it up with you guys. Okay, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Cool. Question is where? Maybe... Hmm, we'll see. Now I gotta find a good spot. and melon farm let's see I need to put it somewhere else maybe up there ooh right there and the lights come on on and off automatically Here, this is a good area. Let me go ahead and clean it up. Uh, and I do apologize, I don't have chat up. I actually have that tutorial on my phone. Seven by six by two. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the chicken fight.
cool. So let's go ahead and start digging. Maybe right here. That's six. And then we'll go seven across. One. Wait, hold it. Seven. Yeah, that's seven. Three, four, five, six. down. Wow, that grass is going pretty fast. Cool. Let's see. Now, go to the long side and get inside the hole. Leave a... One block gap. Okay. So, let me see. So, is that going to be the entrance? Uh, let me see. I can't tell. I think that's a one block gap. Uh, okay. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so the way he did it was at the long side. I might have to do, damn, let's see. Because I'd like the entrance to be right here. So let me go ahead and dig one more layer down on this side. And then fill this in. Oh, that's fine. And then he said one block away. From the long side, go ahead and do a 3x3. Three three. Was it a 3x3x3 three by three by three, though? Yep. 3x3x3. Three by three by three. <clears throat> Make it four blocks deep in total. Okay. In total, or yeah, in total. Once you're down here, break 12 blocks in front of you. In front of me, this way? <laughs> this just screams a trap for me. Oh, let me see. Make sure you're going in the right direction. And that's one thing that I was curious about. Okay, yeah. Make sure to go in this direction. So now just build, let me light it up for you guys so you guys can see. And then just start making a stairway up. Perfect. Let me go ahead and light it up up here. And then let me go ahead and fill this in. And then go in here again and place your three beds. So I do need to make three beds. There's a sheep up here. Let me go get my shears. Shears, shears. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I have him in my backpack. Totally forgot. I, uh, for some reason, I've been recently forgetting that I have a backpack. Um, let me go ahead and put these things away. Sheep. Uh, there's some up there. Oh wow, there's a bunch over there. Holy cow. Look on the map. There's like... That's one. There's one over here. Hopefully this one will give me two. Yep. Oh wait, wait. I need three bits. So I need nine wool. Or... There's a ton over here. Seven. And... Oh, there... What the heck? Are there any up here, though? Uh, there's a spider over there. Whoa, look at that. Let's see. And ten. Let's go. I am out. Oh! That's fine. Alright, let me go ahead and go to sleep. Uh, we'll make the three beds. Most likely just white beds. Since I'm not... <laughs> I don't really color my beds. Now he uses slabs to trap doors. Trap doors, I think he needs four trap doors. And then I'll just use a cobblestone to make slabs. Oh, I just need one. Well, one set. Which is six. Here we go. So he placed them um, like that. Placing... Oh, wow. Okay. So, he's... He's doing... What? He's doing this. And apparently, that'll stay. Yeah. He's 
putting torches everywhere so nothing spawns. Of course, the sheep had to come down here with me. Let me see. Fill this spot and place two trapdoors facing each other. Gotcha. But first, I have to move this sheep. Uh, I'll put you over here. So, fill this spot in and then place two trapdoors. Like so. That's when you bring three villagers to your farm. I could do that easy. Now wait for it to get night. And then they start running. Make sure you've used all the beds. And then cover up the hole again. Gotcha. No, 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 no. Don't come over here. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring the three villagers. What time is it? Oh, I should be able to finish this iron farm. Still got like 30, 40 minutes left before I need to uh, head out. They ever make another one? Doesn't seem like it. Sharing is caring, guys. <laughs> okay. So, Irwin, I'm probably gonna use Irwin. It's gonna be a mission. Go ahead and bring up chat. There we go. Finally, I can see what you guys are saying. That's a good idea for a new big project that you can do in your hardcore world. I think it, it needs to be a bigger flat area to build it. Yeah. Why don't you reform an ocean monument? Nah, that's boring. And doesn't feel like a cool project. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, so... It is what it is, I guess. Uh, dang it, I'm gonna have to, can I place them here? I can. Cool. Whoa, whoa. What is up, MM player? Hope your day's going well. All right, now to get two more Squidwards to that little iron farm that I have. Oh yeah, let me see who I have over here. Mikkel? Michael? Anyone see anime name? Uh, I have not, no. I think I've heard about it, but I haven't seen it myself. This is me running.
Yes, day going well, and how about you? My day's going pretty well. Can't complain. Number two. Nice. And then number three, and then I'm going to be covering the hole. I'm going to change this song. Uh, let's... Yeah, we can try this one. I still really want to mix brick into this. I just have yet to get clay. Just want to say I really appreciate you seven viewers. Uh, let me see if there's a way. I think the only way I can see who's in... No, I can't see who's in the stream on my phone. On the computer, I can. But I just want to say I appreciate you all. That is pretty awesome. Might make some updates on the stream this weekend. We'll see. There we go. Thank you. Okay, now, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to go ahead and go back to the tutorial. Let me see, and there we go. Let me just leave this beautiful view for you guys. Beds, yeah, boats, hold up. Okay, so I'm supposed to put a boat here. So a boat goes here. I feel bad for them. Let me, let me light it up. That's the least I could do. Oh no. Imagine if that hit. <laughs> if that hit the villager. Uh, I'll just do it like that. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we have left. 